my name is uh, Henri van der Tol. I'm a senior purser working for a Dutch airline. And, uh, well, my passion is photography. The first photo I ever bought was a photo by Bruce Weber. It's called Tim on the Roof. Uh, I used to buy postcards and pin them on the wall and buy a lot of books of photography. So after some research and because of my job, I found out that uh, the Bruce Weber was represented by a gallery in New York called Robert Miller. They uh, showed me all the pictures they had in stock by Bruce Weber. But I finally chose this one because uh, not only it's a beautiful nude, but as well it has this connotation with photography as you see the lighting, uh, lighting equipment. And I thought it was just the combination of the two was very nice. And at that time he was very famous because of his Calvin Klein commercials. Uh, and uh, he has this certain style which is very relaxed and uh, but at the same time very beautiful. And that really appealed to me. I paid a lot of money for that because it was $2,500, uh, which, which is really, really a lot. It still is, of course. And I had to save up for that for uh, many, many months. But I was very, very happy that I finally was able to buy a photo by Bruce Weber. And that started the whole lot. And from nudes, it went on to portraits, landscapes, still lives. And now I have a collection of about a thousand images by about 320 different photographers. I start buying photography because uh, I find it very personal. It's about people, it's about emotion, it's about the people behind photographers. For instance, the, the photo by Rineke, you see a beautiful girl, but at the same time you see Rineke as well, because she imposes her own image on the girl, and that's what I like. I think you could uh, describe me as a bit of a photography omnivore, I like a lot. But the, the first thing that I look at is the image. Image is all important for me. The second is the name of the uh, photographer, which makes a uh, difference as well. And the third is the price. It would be very nice, of course, if uh, I've had a lot of money and just go walk into a gallery and say, well, let's, I like this one, I like that one. And, uh, or I could go to an auction and just ha keep my uh, pet up and then say, well, that's mine, that's mine, fine. But for me, the chase is the most important. <laughs> For first time buyers, I think it's very important that you go and look, look at everything, inform yourself, uh, search the internet, go to photography fairs such as uh, Unseen, Paris Photo, the APED in New York, etc. Go to galleries, talk to the photographers if you can during an opening, try to be there as soon as possible. When you're there first, and you're one of the first of the edition, for instance, when you buy a photo, then most of the time the prices are still low. A lot of institutions have print sales, especially for young collectors. Sometimes the editions may be large, but still you have an image you might like very much for not that much money. I found out only after I was trying to make a book that my collection has some themes. Uh, it's mostly people actually. But I thought, well, that is kind of inflexible because it, well, once you made a book, you can't add those photos and I keep on buying. And I, I thought, why not make a website? So I did, it's called uh, privateview.nl. First of all, it was all about me, of course. I wanted to have the whole overview of what I have and, and make it more accessible for others as well. But I've started thinking it's actually nice for other people to have a look at it because it's, you can see what is possible if you're patient, if you do your research, even if you don't have a lot, a lot of money just like me, it's possible to really assemble a nice collection. If I make a website, perhaps other people will do as well. And that's what I'm more interested in. I'd like to see other people's collection. Uh, that's why I'm so interested in going to museums or see on the internet their collection as well. I 
I try to pay attention to uh, young photographers uh, very much uh, because the sooner you get the image that you really like, the better. They might be cheaper, of course. And uh, it's, I think it's very important to support uh, young photographers because they have to get started. That's what I like so much about Unseen. Besides being uh, next door, I think it is wonderful that we finally have this big event uh, going on. And the whole title, Unseen, really intrigues me. Uh, I had followed the auction houses, the old auction tour of photography, and I noticed that a lot of photos I've seen already for so for many years, they're very familiar. They're nice, they're beautiful, I would like to have them, of course, but I'm more interested in the images that I don't know, the photographers that I don't know. I want to discover more and more. Of course, the whole photography scene is huge. Uh, there's so much to discover and there's, there's so much I haven't seen yet. But I like and I'm more interested in images that I have not seen yet. Thank you.